you want to do one more experiment yes okay all of you close your eyes i would that sleep if i close my eyes close your eyes cheating close your eyes huh so there is one little girl okay she is in third class she wants to study really well because someone told her that if she studies well uh she can become very successful and all her mother's struggles will go away so she goes to school because she wants to study well and she wants to remove all her mother's struggles but in that school she's got a very bad teacher that teacher doesn't listen to her that teacher doesn't help her at all so even if she has doubt she'll go and ask the teacher but the teacher will scold her she wants to work very hard but the teacher just doesn't answer her doubts the teacher says you are useless you will never get all this don't study go home but she is like no i want to study i want to help my mother but the teacher is not letting her do that and she is not telling this to her mother because she feels that if she tells her mother maybe her mother won't let her go to school so she is feeling very very clueless she is very scared she doesn't know what to do she doesn't know whom to tell and she is crying open your eyes too bad so what what were you feeling while i was narrating this sadness sad for the for that boy okay angry okay try the same experiment again i'll narrate it in a different way same experiment okay close your eyes so this girl wants to study very hard and then she goes to the school there is a question she has a small doubt she thinks that if she can ask this little doubt that will be of huge help she wants just a little help from the teacher but the teacher gets so frustrated the teacher gets so annoyed and the teacher just goes and shouts at the girl the teacher blasts the girl the teacher puts a red colored face and starts yelling at the girl ki you know she uh, she calls the girl stupid she says that the girl cannot think she call, she calls the girl mad she calls the girl trouble maker she calls the girl notorious kid and all of that because the girl asked her a question she feels so bad she questions herself am i a bad student am i a bad person why is this teacher saying like this she is in doubt whether she is really good or bad And then she comes home. She doesn't know what to do. She's clueless. She's lost. She's feeling so bad. Open your eyes. How does this compare to previous one? Lot more descriptive. There's a lot more emotion. Okay. And then she blames it on herself. Okay. We hear the teacher is. very angry in both the cases are the events the same or are the events different they are same but the even the you told uh, the you told the particular things which happened with her. yeah now so what is the link between emotions and uh, language it helps you describe it better is it only for description okay what does language do does language create emotions inside you so that the medium for yeah when you i guess because like sometimes when you see or read a very sad poem or very happy one you kind of get happy for the rest of the day or sad for the rest of the day but then again like language is meant for communication in a way and for express is language only for communication no like you communicate it you kind of read it you try to understand what others are communicated you try to put your own thoughts you try to do a lot of things you try to describe things can i yeah yeah so when you say that the girl was sad you can imagine 
you can communicate maybe you're telling to achinti or satya that the girl is sad or the, at that time you're communicating here we were imagining that what was happening with that girl 